And uh, yeah, it was just a really good team win for us tonight. Um, really proud of our guys. And it's been a while since we've won up here, so I almost forgot how good it feels to, to come out of here with a victory. It's not easy, never is. And uh, tonight was no different, but really proud of our, our team. Uh, it was a hard, hard fought game and a really important win for us to keep moving forward. So really happy about that. I think our guys played tough out there. They showed up ready to go, played tough, and uh, made plays when we needed to, and um, you know, actually forced some errors. So that was really good to see. Uh, we're doing a good job with the turnover takeaway margin. Not, not real happy about our, our turnover tonight, but um, our defense is doing a really good job with the takeaways, and then if we can score off that, that's good. Um, Dave took care of that one for us, but the other ones we uh, converted into touchdowns and they got a fourth down stop at midfield also. And uh, we took the ball and, and scored on that. So it was really good team football. Ha happy to see that. And, uh, you know, obviously happy to see our point production uh, continue to be healthy. So, you know, just proud of the guys on that. So, you know, the bottom line is it was a really good step for us. Uh, it wasn't smooth or easy in that second half, which you'd expect in a Big Ten contest, especially a team with uh, the kind of talent Penn State has. Our guys uh, fought through that, and hopefully in the long run that'll be good for us, a good experience. Not quite the same as 2002, but somewhere that way. And uh, to experience the adversity a little bit and the bumps, and um, everybody just kept kept playing and stuck together. And uh, you know, really happy about that. So it's hopefully something that'll pay off for us as we move on. And that is the, the key thing right now. We're gonna enjoy this victory today. Uh, every reason the players have every reason to enjoy the ride home and feel good about it. Uh, hopefully we'll get a good night's rest because we got a short week. But after we watch the film tomorrow, we're going to move on and try to get ready for the next opponent. But uh, just really proud of our entire football team. You guys are doing a great job. The staff same way. So really happy for everybody on the team. I'll throw it out for questions. We have a question for Coach Ferentz. Please raise your hand in the participant window. First question, Tom Caker. Hey, Kirk. Um, does no, getting number 100 in Pennsylvania, you know, where you grew up, does that make it even extra special? And what was the kind of the scene in the locker room like for you uh, celebrating with your players? You know, somebody, an interview this week, somebody threw out 100. I, I didn't even know what they were talking about, but I figured it was another, you know, some kind of deal. So anyway, um, I really haven't talked too much about that. But, but winning here is, you know, it, it is special to, you know, where you grew up and all that kind of stuff. And uh, as a kid, I grew up watching Penn State football. I uh, just had so much respect for it. So, you know, that part's all good. But, uh, yeah, it was, the locker room was great. I'm just happy the guys could be part of that. But the bigger picture is, you know, things like this don't happen uh, by accident. You have to be in a really good place, and you have to be around really good people. And I can say that about my 30, coming up on 31 years now at Iowa. You know, the common denominator, we've got good players, good coaches, good support staff, good administration, and a quality place to work, uh, you know, just overall in a place to live so you know how lucky can you get there and um just really really you know i don't think too much about it but just really feel fortunate in that regard next question scott doctorman yeah kirk i'm sure more than the the milestone it is probably just the way you guys are playing uh, that matters to you i mean you've outscored your last three opponents by a combined 90 points uh what does that feel like for you to that you've turn that quarter into being a really good team the last few weeks and then then to have your players celebrate the way they did in the locker room just to kind of it, it feels good for them too for you to reach this milestone uh, no question that, you know the culmination of the week is, is the guys being able to really just let it loose in the locker room and um, you know it just means a job well done really no matter how you get it done it's it's a job well done and certainly tonight uh, all the things that we thought were important going into the game, our guys did a really good job of covering and uh, went overly complex. But, you know, you got to show up ready to go regardless of what time the game is. And uh, then you've got to be ready to, to battle and fight the entire game. And that's that's really, you know, for a while there, it looked like, you know, maybe this thing would get away, but not so fast. And that that's the nature of conference football. So our guys kept their eyes where they needed to. They really kept working, kept – and they picked each other up. Our special teams tonight were not so great, you know, and um, – you know, too many penalties. And then we turned it over on center center quarterback exchange, which we did that last, I don't know if it was the end of October, first week of November, doesn't matter. But that was a low point in the last season, in my opinion. And, um, you know, but we survived it this time. Last time we weren't that lucky. So, you know, we still got a lot to work on. But, you know, after a game, boy, these wins are hard for them. Just, you know, so good to see our guys feel good about things. Mark Hammer. 
Yeah, Kirk, you mentioned the four turnovers that your team generated. They all came from the defensive line. I guess what, what is it about your defensive line right now that's kind of impressing you the most? Oh, the growth. You know, I mean, we, we were uh, less than impressive, in my opinion, three weeks ago or four weeks ago. <coughs> Excuse me. Starting with the run, you know, we were too soft on the run. And uh, I know a lot of questions were being asked about, you know, where we going to get pressure. Obviously, AJ's not here anymore. Uh, wish he was, but he's not. So that's all part of the growth process. And whether it's younger guys or guys like uh, Van Valkenburg, who's, you know, an older guy, uh, but only second year on the team, you can just see him growing each and every week out there. And uh, when our older guys are doing that, then, you know, the younger guys are calling me. That just gives us a chance to maybe put a good team together. But I yeah, just, yeah, pleased with the, the progress, but we're hopefully we got a lot more left in us, I hope. Chris Warner. Hey, Kirk, I'm just wondering, uh, what did Chauncey's interception do for you momentum-wise as they were Penn State was kind of making a run behind Clifford there in the fourth quarter? Yeah, no question. I mean, you, you started wondering, okay, is this going to be one of those stories, right? Guy comes off the bench. A guy who's won a lot of games, I think 11 last year. I think it was 11 and, uh, you know, had a lot of success here. So is it going to be one of those things? And then, you know, we miss a field goal opportunities. Now we're sitting at 13. Uh, all they need is, you know, two touchdowns. And so, you know, I'm a little demonic. You, know, you start thinking those bad thoughts sometimes. But our guys kept playing. And that, that's what you got to do. It doesn't always go your way. Uh, that is football. And, you know, the team has to respond. Somebody's got to find a way to get something done. And, uh, you know, the guys came up big. And our D-line, again, going back to those guys, and, you know, they just you see them growing and improving with each week. and our front four guys are playing well, that gives us a chance to have a good team defense. Chad Leistico. Hey there. Uh, congrats on the 100. Um, Thank you. What, uh, you know, Big Ten championship aside, you know, Northwestern beat Wisconsin today, so they're 5-0. Um, what, do you want to, what do you want this season to accomplish? Uh, it seems like you're on a great track right now, but how do you, how do you see this finishing or want to finish? Same as every season, just, you know, maximize every opportunity. And, um, you know, you can't do anything about yesterday. Learned that from a very wise man. And um, I didn't lecture somebody this week, but I, I did make a comment. I don't know if I was on the radio or somewhere, but about Northwestern. Like, you know, they weren't that bad last year. I know their record wasn't good, and I know that wasn't what they wanted, but they were a piece or two away. And uh, they did a great job of solving that, in my opinion, just one person's opinion. But that, that's how, how tight football is. That's how close the gap is uh, a lot of times. And, you know, so I'm not totally – I'm not at all surprised about what they're doing. I don't know how today's game went out, came out. Both those are really good football teams. And so circling back to us, I mean, you know, we are what we are. We were 0-2. We, that's what we earned. And, uh, you know, all we can do is about what's in front of us right now. So I said we're going to enjoy this one. We'll enjoy the ride home. And uh, hopefully everybody goes to bed when they get there and then – you know, we'll, we'll uh, turn our attention to the next next opportunity because it's going to come fast. But, you know, we'll do all that, and then we'll, we'll you know, dissect it when the, when the season's over. Next question, Tom Caker. Kirk, you guys are very routine-oriented. Yesterday was anything but routine for you guys. How did you guys kind of navigate, you know, the playing issue and everything, and did it set you off kind of course? And and also, um, Mark Kallenberger uh, came out of the game. Was he healthy? Is uh, you know, we just getting Jackson some right? No, he's a little bit hobbled, so, uh, you know, uh, a lot of credit goes to Cody Ince a couple of weeks ago. Cody and Mark jumping in. We had a couple of guys down, and uh, Cody's been playing well. Mark has been playing really well, so hopefully it's not too serious. And uh, But Jack Plum got in there and got, got to play his first meaningful snap, so, you know, I think he's pretty fired up in the locker room, and uh, that'll be a really good experience for him. So, you know, and yesterday, you know, a, a problem would have been if that problem happened in the year. That would have been an issue, and then we all would have been concerned, but – uh, we got up there, found out, you know, we got a little bit of a delay. So fortunately, we were able to go back. We just adjusted our meetings. And, um, you know, just when we got here, we just uh, had a quick, quick, uh, you know, little meeting. Let the guys eat and go to bed. So uh, it wasn't 11 o'clock kickoff. That made it easier. And, um, you know, this has been, as of this coming Friday, this will be four weeks, not quite four weeks, uh, 27 days where it's been nothing but irregularity. And uh, 2020 has been nothing but irregularity. So I guess we're just all kind of used to it. You just uh, adjust and don't make a big deal of it. Jeff Johnson. Yeah, Coach, are you considering maybe playing Davion Nixon uh, on offense after that uh, after that move? Uh, you know, what did what did you see from or what did you see there from your perspective? Uh, it was a really impressive play by an impressive football player. And uh, the bad news is we're probably going to be hearing about this for the next month. 
if not longer. <laughs> so, um, you know, that, that's going to be very difficult. But, uh, no, Davion's been playing really well. I talked about the line a minute ago, just the improvement they've been making. Davion's a big part of that, playing really well. He's got a great uh, energy out in the field. And uh, you know, just really proud of his growth and development. Boy, you talk about a big play. That was a big play. That's an impressive uh, impressive play for a big man like that physically. We have time for two more questions. First, Scott Docterman. Yeah, your running game again was uh, very potent. It seemed, uh, you know, in four out of the five games, it's been, been at a pretty high level. Um, what are you seeing out of it? And is this uh, – is this something that it doesn't matter what the conditions are, you can take your running game on the road and do you feel confident that it's, it's going to compete no matter who, against who you're playing against? Yeah, I mean, to, the, to your point there, um, you know, playing the way we are playing, it was kind of weird last week. Somebody mentioned Thanksgiving week. You know, in your mind, you know you've only played four games, so how can it be Thanksgiving? But it, but it is this coming week. Um, so the rest of that story is we're going to play a couple games in December, which is unusual. Uh, so, yeah, the running game sure does help, and it felt like December last Friday night. But, uh, you know, that, that's the more we can be balanced, the more we have the ability to be balanced, it's, it's good. It's a combination of everybody, not just our line, but our, our line, pullback, tight ends, and receivers did a good job blocking. Um, and then, you know, the backs are obviously running really hard and get a good group of backs. So, yeah, the more uh, more balanced we can be, and you know, it ultimately kind of gets down to what the defense lets you do. So, uh, yeah, the more we can do that, the better off we'll be. Okay, hey, last question, Chad. Uh, Scott kind of took my question there, so I'll just ask you one last one on the uh, state of the program. When you, when you look across the field, you see Penn State being 0-5. I mean, this could have been, I mean, if you guys went down the wrong track, that could have been you guys. How important was it to just stay on the right course and, and get to this point? And we've got some momentum. That's what the game's all about, you know. Um, you know, you never know what's going to come your way. And, you know, if they can be 0 5, that means anybody can be 0 5. So there's just, there's no guarantees in sports. There's absolutely none. And, you know, all you can do is worry about what you're doing, what the plan is, what you, adjustments you need to make. And most importantly, it's about everybody just, you know, buying in on something and then all working together for it. And I don't think that'll ever change. So, uh, but things don't happen if, you're, if your players aren't, you know, if they're not in tune, if they're not the ones who are, who are making things happen. You got no chance, and you know we, we've had some bumps this year uh, going back to you know since the bowl game. But uh, one thing that's been constant: we got really good players on our football team. They're good to work with. They try. They try their ass off. Uh, things don't always go the way we want, but they try. And uh, you know, as long as you're doing that, you got a chance to grow. And that, that's what this thing's all about.